Hey foodies, welcome back to the Raina's Kitchen. So today we're making some banana fritters or flitters as we would call them in Jamaica. I am loving these. These are so good and I did use coconut oil. So just give it that extra nice flavor. You can still see a couple specks of bananas in it. So right here I have laid out four bananas. So you know the green banana we use this for boiling. Nice boiled green banana. This one you can't eat too. This is a little sweeter, more specks, um, but you can also use it for the fritters. I'm gonna use the last two, the extra overripe one. Yeah, I don't like eating it like that, but you can put it in smoothies, cakes, or even, you know, put it to the side, make your fritters. So that's what I'll be doing. Just peel your bananas. Um, you don't have to use any special tool or equipment to crush these. I'm going to be using um, a potato crusher. You can, you know, put some gloves on and just squeeze it up with your hand. So just peel your bananas, drop them in. So I'm starting with four bananas. If you have the extra ripe bananas, that's even better. So I'm just adding all the ingredients to my bowl. I always prep before cooking so I have everything laid out, ready to go. Um, this also helps you to not forget any of the ingredients for your recipes. Just lay everything out. You can do a quick checklist. Um, and that's basically it. As far as make sure you guys are following me right here on YouTube and on all the other platforms at The Rena's Kitchen. And all my kitchen tools, everything that I use, you can also locate this on my amazon storefront i'll definitely leave it in the description box so this right here it's just something i you use to if you're doing mashed potatoes it mashes the bananas very well also So what I'm doing here is just getting it as smooth as possible. It's still going to have a little banana texture left in the batter. I will also list, like I said, everything in the description box. And if you don't have this potato masher, just put some gloves on and just squeeze up the banana with your hands, okay? So I'm adding a little salt, um, which is one of the ingredients. Just a pinch of salt, about half a teaspoon. I'm also going to be adding about half a teaspoon of cinnamon, about a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. This is basically, I usually freestyle when I'm cooking, um, just a little vanilla extract. You can locate this at any supermarket. Um, this is, um, I pick up most of my ingredients at the farmer's market or my local Jamaican supermarkets. So if you watch my videos, you can see I always have this rose and almond. I always buy it when I go to Jamaica. I can never find it here in the States, but it just gives your food this um, extra flavor. It's just like another mixed spice essence. So if you don't have rose and almond, you can always substitute any additional mixed spice essence, such as this rose water. Um, you can also find that in any of the local farmer's market, usually in the Jamaican aisle. So I'm just adding a little cinnamon, like I was saying, a little nutmeg, just spice it up. And um, then we're gonna mix it all together. But I will be adding some flour. If your batter is too thick, you can always add a little coconut milk. Um, right here, I'm adding some sugar, which is brown sugar or sugar in the raw. I prefer that over adding the um, granulated sugar. And then some nutmeg as well. Um, it was so well spiced up just mix everything together well so while i was getting everything together i did preheat a skillet like i said with some coconut oil coconut oil just makes everything taste better and um that's like my choice of oil when i'm making any little delicate desserts such as this um if i'm frying like a big pot of dumpling i use regular cooking oil vegetable oil such forth so just spicing it up right here. All right, so once I got everything together, I'm now adding some flour. This is all purpose flour, about a cup of flour. You can just use your um, judgment as far as to see how thick you want it. And then if it's too thick, you can always add a little coconut milk or water.
So I'm just mixing, make sure I got all the, the flour, everything is evenly distributed. And as you can see, you can see the specks of bananas um, throughout the batch. That's exactly how you want it. So I'm using organic coconut oil. I purchased my oil at Costco. This is my favorite coconut oil. Just make sure your skillet is on medium heat. Um, drop these babies in. You can make them big or small, whatever size you prefer. So these don't have to be any perfect shape. As you can see, I'm just using a, a small spoon. Sometimes I'll use a ice cream scooper just to get everything um, uniform, but it's just basically stamp and go. Like Jamaica would call it stamp and go. Something quick, fast, quick breakfast. You can use this at a brunch. I've um, prepared these for brunches, dinner, um, any time of the day type of meal. So these are looking good already. I'm just gonna let these fry for a few, two to three minutes or until golden brown. Just look around the edges until they start browning up and then I'll flip them. All right, so top of the big flip. So I'm just gonna flip them over. Um, just use a spatula. Very, um, this one looked like it wanted to stick, but everything was all good. And the coconut oil, like I was saying, make it taste so much better. So if you have coconut oil, I definitely recommend using the coconut oil. All right, so these are perfect golden brown. You can see the edges, nice crispy edges, soft on the inside. And um, yeah, you can top this up with whatever you wish or just enjoy it as is. I've seen people add ice cream, whipped cream. I've never tried it, but go ahead and try it and let me know. Definitely try the recipe. Tell me how you like it. Drop some comments in the comment section. I will leave all the ingredients in the description box. And thank you again for watching. Make sure you guys are following me right here on YouTube and all the platforms at the Reina's Kitchen. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.